Cheers. Alrighty, so let's discuss a little bit of the Minnesota Wild. And what... Well, let's just say what has been an interesting start of the season. <laughs> so yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. So yeah. The Minnesota Wild end the month of October at 4-4-1. Four, four, yeah, definitely not the greatest start in the world for the Wild, but thankfully... um. Really, a lot of the Central hasn't been that great, I guess. I mean, <laughs> thankfully, the rest of the Central has been very... Let's just say right now, I'm pretty sure the Blackhawks have a better record than the Avs, Wild, and Blues right now. Granted, again, it's October, literally the first day of November, but raise your hand if you saw that one coming. I mean, hell, the Flyers are leading the Metro. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, the Flyers are leading the Metro. Why? Because nothing makes sense. I mean, let's just be honest here. <laughs> Sports in 2022. I mean, you've seen my uh, Vikings like post games and stuff like that. I still don't even know how the hell the Vikings are. The record they are at this point. So... But anyway, so yeah, like I said, the Minnesota Wild are now 4-4-1 four, four, after a shootout win against the Blackhawks and tonight take on the Montreal Canadiens at home to start a three-game home stretch. And, well, let's just say the beginning of the season, well, whew, I don't think I have to go into that. I mean, well, <laughs> you saw my last video I made about the Wild. Oofta, oofta, oofta. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, starting out the season one and three is never ideal in any sport. But thankfully, with, you know, hockey being like an 82 game stretch and all this, that, and the other thing. It didn't. It hasn't come back to bite us in the ass yet. However, though, the Wild have finally started kind of getting out of the funk, I guess, for lack of a better term. But now, unfortunately, the injury bug has started to creep in. Whew. I haven't heard any updates on Hartman, but it did not sound good. I didn't really hear a lot about Moose. It sounds like he's day-to-day. -day. Marcus Foligno, by the way, for those of you who don't know. And, uh, yeah, I mean... Like I say, so far, the Wild, the first half of October, just, I mean, again, 14 goals in two games while giving up nine. Granted, as we move on here, the Wild still put a few more, or still let a few more goals in the back of the net, more so than I would like, but the Wild have finally started to hit their stride a little bit more and are finally kind of getting out of the early season jitters, funk, whatever you want to say. And, uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> we'll just see what happens here. Because, like I say, it, I mean, it'd be one thing if, you know, the Wild were, like, winless at this point, and, you know, we're literally in the Conor Bedard sweepstakes. But considering the Blues at this point are, oh, yikes. They, I mean, you want to talk about a meltdown. <laughs> the Avs are one game above us. I it, Right now, the Central makes no sense. Again, it's literally one month. Ten games at most. And, uh, yeah, I mean, like I say, there's still 70-plus games to go. We'll probably won't really have an idea on the wild till I'd say the end of this month going into December maybe the beginning of 2023 but the wild have definitely 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 gotten better and have finally at the very least gotten their stuff back together like I say, I have a feeling Everson, Garen, those guys will be shuffling lines for a while until they find something that works. 
Plus, with injuries and stuff like that, too, I mean, don't be surprised if we see a lot more moves moving forward and stuff like that. So, who knows? I mean, <laughs> the way the Wild season started this year, again, 14 goals in two games. <sighs> Definitely not an ideal, you know, situation. However, thankfully, as I've stated, you know, a couple times in this video, the Wild have finally found their rhythm. And at the very least, are now starting to kind of gel together. And, uh, yeah, like I say, so far the beginning of the NHL season has been absolutely mental. I mean, good God. There's a lot of things that are happening. Including watching the Toronto Maple Leafs basically implode on themselves. There's always something slightly funny about that, but at the same time, though, as a Minnesota sports fan, I kind of see where they're coming from there. You know, like, just because sports are all about patterns, I've noticed. And as a Wild fan, as a Vikings fan, I've seen a lot of patterns that have really just started to develop. Thankfully, with the Vikings and Kevin O'Connell, we managed to at least break one of the patterns, you know, some of that stuff, but again, the Vikings are 6-1 and one right now and they're doing their own thing. The Wild are finally starting to gain traction which is huge and uh, yeah, I mean, we have a couple of very winnable games. Montreal we just beat literally last Tuesday and we have Seattle coming into town on Thursday which Thankfully, that's on Thursday because the Thursday night game for the NFL, Eagles at Texans. <laughs> yeah, if that game is even close at halftime, I'll be surprised. So watch Houston end up winning like 35 to nothing because chaos. Anyway, regardless about that, though, back to the wild here. I mean... It's finally nice to see the goaltending kind of settle down. Flurry's back in rhythm again. The lines are looking good. You know, Kaprizov, Boldy are looking like our two studs for the year so far. And, uh, yeah, I mean, Addison's developing. Matt Dumba's still Matt Dumba. <laughs> I... I feel bad because, well, let's just see here. I think the last, or the second to last game in uh, Detroit, he had just an absolute nasty slapper that hit. I'm trying to remember which Red Wings player in the face, but. Whew. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that was an 89 mile an hour slap shot. I mean, I saw that before in uh, the COVID season of 2020 in LA. So. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, he definitely has power still, granted. I still think this is going to be his last season, last half season, last trade deadline. I, unless he wants to come back for less money, which, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't necessarily be opposed to having him back, but not for the cap hit he's probably going to occur. So... Yeah, I mean, I figure I'd just quick jump on and give, like, my thoughts on sort of the current state of the NHL slash the Wild in general. Because, again, the Wild, after the month of October, are 4-4-1. Four, four, and one. Still relatively in the mix as far as the West is concerned. But, I mean, I wasn't expecting the Central to start off the way it did. The Wild are currently 5th in the Central. Still have a lot of time to improve. Still have a lot of, you know things to work on, but I think we're finally starting to turn the corner, and we're finally starting to get more towards the team we can expect to see for the rest of the season. Just please, for the love of God, can we limit the injuries? Because that's really what's going to derail us. Like, injuries are a massive issue. Health is going to be just as big as, you know, star players are. Because if everyone's injured, <laughs> I don't care who you are, I don't care what team you are, it ain't going to be easy. I mean, you only have so much depth in the world, so. But yeah, like I say, I may or may not make a post-game reaction to the Habs tonight. We'll kind of see where I'm at. And, uh, 
yeah, like I say, I just also got done working literally six straight overnights, so. <laughs> yeah, not a lot of fun there, but, eh, it is what it is. I got a couple days, you know, got a day off, and this is my slow week, so. Expect more content here within the next few days, like I say. I have a jersey coming in the mail over the next few days. Shout out to Arizona Sports Guy, or Arizona Sports Fan, or whatever he's so <laughs> that that that's basically a hint right there of what jersey it'll be and i'll kind of give more details when i get it but yeah so with all that said let's go wild come on boys let's get above 500 officially here and uh let's just keep pushing forward i mean like i say the last few games have been closer to what i want to see from this team Versus the first three or four games were good. God, I'm pretty sure I could have scored on my goaltending. Whew. So, but yeah, until we meet again, this is Jacob. Go wild.